Well, good afternoon, everyone, and happy Saturday. At least it's Saturday for me. Oh my gosh, there is so much to do in so little time. Everything closes so early here in Washington, D.C., but I am going to try to go out and explore and get as much as I can in today. My plan is to go to the old post office building, go to the top of the old tower, and show you guys the most amazing view in pretty much all of D.C. After that, then, I want they close at 4 o'clock, so I got to get going because it's already 2 o'clock. After that, I want to go to the U.S. archives and see some of the historical uh, artifacts that they have in there, including the one and only U.S. Constitution. I've never seen the real thing, and that would be absolutely amazing. I got my portable fan ready to go because it's about a thousand degrees outside. In all seriousness, it's like a hundred degrees with a hundred percent humidity. So got my fan, I got my water, I got my towel. I hope you're ready because I know I am. Let's go do this. Oh my goodness, when I said it was hot out here, that was an understatement. It is so hot out here. But it is a beautiful Saturday. Absolutely beautiful. We have the U.S. Archives right here, and I'm going to try to get to that after the post, the post office tower, because this one closes at 5.30 p.m., and the post office tower closes at 4. Luckily, they're not too far from each other. The walk to get there is beautiful because you go right by the archives, and you walk right through the U.S. Naval Memorial, which I have already posted a video on this memorial. Make sure you check out that video. There will be a link down in the show notes to all of the videos uh, in the playlist called Washington, D.C. So make sure you guys check that out. If you haven't done so, make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification icon turned on so you don't miss any future uploads because I am a busy, busy boy here in Washington, D.C. trying to get out and see as much as I can see and as much as I can show you. See, I'm already winded. <laughs> All right. See, post office tower is right there. So let's get to it. And on our way to the post office tower, this building right here is the U.S. Department of Justice. The archives are right there. And then the Department of Justice is right there. And then the old post office tower is right there. And that's where we're going. At least I hope so. And then right over here we have the J. Edgar Hoover FBI building. This is the headquarters for the FBI. This building is very, very large. Everybody loves to come and take pictures of it. Here's the FBI headquarters. This building right here is the headquarters for the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. Here it is, the old post office tower. That's where we're going. Hey, a little tangent. Did you know that you guys can actually rent these Rebels? Really cool, actually. I haven't done it yet, but I did download the app. There's two helmets in here, and you just turn on the app, you put your phone right there, it costs 44 cents a minute. And if you are a active duty military or veteran, you get 40% off. All right, I'm enough of that. Let's go up there. I think we finally found the entrance. It's not on the uh, the main side that looks all fancy. It's actually in the back. You'll see right here, it says museum and clock tower. That's where we're going in.
this is the hotel part. Yes, this is the hotel part. But the steel truss structures, that's that's still original from the uh, 1899 structure, as well as the flag up here on the left. Absolutely. So the, uh, the, the flag, that's actually been a staple up here of the old post office building since it was first built. Since it was first built. Wow. So different flag, of course, replaced over the years. But <laughs> The, the interior is, is pretty much restored to uh, a, a general look from the 1899. Obviously, doctored up a little bit for for the, the hotel itself. And enjoy. Thank you. Actually belongs to the National Park Service, whereas the rest of the building belongs to the Wardorf Hotel. So, but the tower itself is a historical landmark. So we went up one elevator, and now we're going to go up the second elevator. This is it. We've reached the top.
If I said this was the second tallest tower in Washington, D.C., I stand corrected. This is actually the third tallest tower. The first one is the Washington Monument, which stands at 555 feet tall. Then the U.S. Capitol, which stands at 520, I'm sorry, 321 feet tall. Don't quote me on that. And then this post office tower stands at 315 feet tall. And boy, those views are stunning. Okay, we are done with the old post office clock tower. We are gonna move on to the US archives. Right behind me though, is the headquarters for everyone's favorite three letter agency, the IRS. Here is the Internal Revenue Service. I think I'm just gonna keep going. We have made it to the archives of the United States of America. I am super excited to go in here. This is where we have our founding documents, the foundation of our country lies within this building. So let's go check it out. The video of these columns and of the architecture, it just doesn't do it justice. How huge this building is. It is massive, absolutely massive. The National Archives of the United States. All right, let's talk about it. Absolutely, positively, 1000%, zero, no photographs or videos allowed in so sorry, I was really hoping I could vlog inside, but absolutely not allowed. But let me describe my experience to you inside this amazing building. It's something that is hard to put into words if you're not actually there, but I'm going to try. Inside this building are the founding original documents of our country. And, and I'm talking everything. We're talking documents, the Emancipation Proclamation, the Abolishment of Slavery, the Magna Carta, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. It's, it's, it's all there, it's amazing. And they are encased in the most amazing frames you could possibly think of. These frames are plated in 24 karat titanium gold. These frames that are temperature controlled, they have a certain type of gas in them, certain type of uh, uh, yellowish lights to preserve these documents for decades to come, cost five million dollars to produce these frames. It's crazy. Uh, the actual rotunda where the Bill of Rights and the Constitution and the Articles of Confederation are in. I mean, you cannot even have your phone in your hand. There are armed guards on both sides of the documents. Uh, page one, we the people of the United States. And to actually see it, to actually read it, it's amazing. And I will say that reading some of these documents are very, very hard because, I mean, they're you know, over 300 years old. And back in the 17, 1800s, they really didn't take care of these documents like we did today. They rolled them up a lot. Uh, they were smoking pipes, they were smoking cigars. So a lot of that smoke has yellowed the paper. And many of the documents, such as uh, such of the Bill of Rights, you can barely see anymore. It's, it's so faded. So 
the copies that we have are very important uh, because it's really hard to make out with the naked eye what that print is because it's so faded now. This is a really good place to come and visit. If you guys are in Washington, D.C., this place is a must. The gift shop is huge, huge. I, I, I was not expecting the gift shop to be that massive. A lot of the stuff in there is, you know, propaganda junk, but uh, it is a really big uh, gift shop. There, it, you could spend hours in here, depending upon how much you want to read, because there is a lot to read. Um, there is some interactive stuff uh, inside of the vault section of the archives. I mean, and it goes from the beginning to the age of technology. And I, all I gotta say is just standing in front of our, our founding documents that freed us from, from England and made us our own country. And reading the rights that we have in this country, whether you are a citizen or not a citizen, no matter where you come from, reading those rights, that is a contract that that we have abided by and has guided us in our way of freedom since 1776. And to see that date on the paper, seeing all of the now states, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and all of the signatures within there on page number four, it, it is just so cool. You know, we learn about this in school. We see it, you know, in the copies. But to see the original, it's, it's just that wow factor. Wow factor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, shoot some, uh, uh, throw in some, uh, some pictures that, uh, that I got off of Google. I wish I could have taken pictures and videos inside. It would have been amazing. Uh, once upon a time, you were allowed to, to film, but, you know, people were using their flash and, and that damages the documents. They are very, very protected as they should be. And, you know, if you are a history buff, or you're not a history buff, the Archives of the United States is a must on your things to do here in Washington, D.C. Hey, if you like this video, do me a huge favor. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Click the bell notification icon so you never miss any future uploads. And share this video. Not only do I think this information is educational, just to go back into our country's footsteps and see where we came from, it's going to help guide us on where we're going in the future. Until our next adventure, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. The Emancipation Proclamation.